hello good people and welcome back to we are the new normal i am sam thank you for coming to see me today in my hot and glorious sun um just want to talk to you guys today about something that was just on my mind today and it pertains to your growth as we all are trying to do every day hopefully and it is the idea or the question are you resistant to change are you resistant to change and let's just talk about like everyday things like for example I know someone who I won't name very close to me who I swear I think for the past 10 years now gone through several different phones now you know you get your upgrade and everything and probably for the past 10 years has had the same screensaver or picture on their phone same ring tones same notification tones exactly the same room setup exactly the same outfits hairstyle exactly the same for the past 10 years now some people say hey well there's nothing wrong with that they're comfortable they found something that works they're in their groove and that's something that works for them so if it ain't broke don't fix it well i say to that that we all know that when you get in your comfort zone, it is in your comfort zone that will kill you. You will die in that comfort zone. You will die a nice, slow, comfortable death, but you will die in that comfort zone. So when we're talking about your growth every day, do you do little things every day that become the catalysts for growth? And that's just little changes every day. Um, for example, in the morning when you brush your teeth, if you're right-handed, tomorrow morning use your left hand. When you use your non-dominant hand to do something that you do every day, it actually starts to create different neural pathways. It sends different signals in your brain that creates different pathways that can create a different situation, a different reality, a different life, a change. And as we know, change is good without growth excuse me without change there is no growth you cannot grow get better improve if you don't change just think of it this way you go to the store and let's say you buy a plant it's a small plant and uh it's green right now and on the on the little tag in there it says that this is going to be a rose it's a rose plant there's you see little thorns budding on there and the the green leaves and the stem and everything and let's just say after two months, three months of having this plant, it doesn't do anything. You don't see a rose. You still see the stem. You still see these little buds of, of thorns and you see leaves, but you don't see a rose. Would you find value in that plant? No, you probably wouldn't. At least not as much value as if it was showing you that it was growing and becoming this flower that you expected it to be. And that's the same thing with yourself. What value do you have to present to yourself, your own life, anyone else, your job, your situation, your friendships, your relationships, if you are stagnant within yourself? Things that are stagnant tend to fester and mold and, and mildew and that's not where you want to be. You want growth. So growth can only happen when you make changes. It can only happen when you do something different than what you do absolutely every day. It could be the smallest thing. You can change your hairstyle. You can change the color of your fingernail polish. You can change the setup of your room. Maybe just move your bed to this side, change the color of your curtains. Um, instead of cooking fish every Friday, this Friday we gonna have shrimp. It doesn't matter. When you go home from work, you normally take this way and take a left or right, the second left and the first right, go a different route home. Make life interesting, discover something new, get lost and find your way home. You're never too lost on this earth. We all got GPS and if we don't, we have a mouth and we have natural compasses inside of ourselves. So be brave, take a risk, take a different way home. All of those things end up being catalysts for us getting used to not being in the same position. And isn't that where we wanna be? We wanna be in a different position in life. Even if you are comfortable where you are financially, even if we are comfortable where we are 
in our relationships. Don't you think that the person that you are in a relationship with would appreciate something new, something fresh, something different, something spontaneous. And it's not just in your your romantic relationships. It could be a relationship with your mom. It could be a relationship with your children. How excited do you think that your kids would be if on Saturday, instead of Saturday being cleaning day, oh, you know Saturday's cleaning day. Instead of this Saturday, us cleaning, mom gets up in the morning and say, we're all going to the water park. And mom throws on her bathing suit and mom goes down the slide. Don't you think that that would be an inspiration to your kids to try something new, to do something new, to take themselves not so seriously and actually enjoy life? So just urging you, that in your everyday mundane routine, just remember that if you, not, if you are not growing, you are dying. If you are not evolving, you are devolving. And that is not what we want to do. We wanna head in the other direction. So the simple, simple answer to once again, finding a way to better your life is to make small changes every day. Don't get stuck in the same routines. Yeah, pizza's good. Yeah, lasagna on Thursdays is great. You can come back to it, but one day just spice it up. Just do something different. Decorate differently. Have different music playing when you're exercising. It doesn't matter. Those new things presented to you create new reactions in your body, new reactions in your brain, and obviously new realities. They have new outcomes because you are clearly doing something different. What, what's the def definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So if you're not liking where you are right now, maybe that's just a small indication that you just need a little variety in your life. So as I stand out here and bake, I'm gonna drop a gem on y'all today. And um, I don't even know who this quote is by, so if I'm quoting someone and it's your quote, please by all means comment to me and let me know. But it says, your life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. So let that melt on your mind as I melt out here in the sun. Thank you guys once again for coming to see me. I hope that any of this information helps you along your journey to find what you are looking for hopefully it is happiness hopefully it is peace hopefully it is success in some facet of your life and whatever you wish for you can achieve it you just have to believe it and take action towards it every single day i love you guys thank you so much for coming to my page thank you for so much support that you have given me watching me sweat in the sun I say again, of course, if this resonates with you, by all means, click the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so that you can know every time that I send a video out to you guys. I would love to see you guys here every time I come on here. So once again, thank you. Thank you for coming to see me. This is Sam checking out on this hot day. And just remember, you are good people. Have a good life.